everyone, Jane Spencer here bringing you yet another video. Now in today's video, I decided to challenge myself. We're gonna do a cheap wig challenge. Yes, yes, yes. I've shown you all how to get a great style of a costume wig from a party store. Now I decided to challenge myself and I went scouring the internet and I found the lowest priced lace front wig I could find. So, it arrived today on Amazon. Look at her. Thank you, Amazon Prime. This girl was $15 with Prime, so no shipping. All right, pull her out, and here she is. She is a red lace front wig, and she has baby hairs already in it, which I'll probably not end up using. I'll probably comb right into the style, as well as a back section for those of you who like to wear ponytails, but for $15, I'm not sure. The hair is actually very, very smooth and soft, so it's actually good quality hair. I'm very surprised. I'm guessing maybe this company is probably just trying to liquidate them and get rid of them. That's probably why it was so low. So always look out for deals because you never know when a company's just trying to get rid of a color because then you can find a great buy like this one. And I don't know what it is about this bright red color because the last wig I got was a bright red wig like this too. Only that one was costume hair and this one is actually synthetic hair. So I'm excited to see how it's gonna look. Let's start and see if we can get something fabulously styled out of this. All right, she's kind of giving me like Britney Spears toxic vibe. Look at that. And I may not speak a whole lot in this transformation video because I'm just trying to like speed through it and get it done. So if you want to see my hairstyling tutorials, I'll have some link down below. I'm not doing anything particularly too different from anything else I've done in the past. I just want to see if I can create something fabulous out of something that's really, really cheap. Okay, so far the hair is a little slippery, but that's not so bad. If you use some water in a spritz bottle, it'll be easier to roll. I'm probably gonna start doing that from here on out because it's really, really slippery and hard to get a grip on. A lot of stuff is like flying out of it and that's gonna affect the final result. But again, that's not necessarily a negative. It's just more or less, you know, just something you have to work around, but it's something easy you can work around. <laughs> ah, okay, where was I? Okay, let's do the other side. Oh my God, this is fun. It's like we're hanging out, just styling hair together. Grab a wig, you know, style it with me. Why not? How's your day been going? Mine's been all right. <sighs> been up since eight o'clock in the morning, just getting ready, you know, trying to film stuff. <sighs> been thinking about, you know, submitting my applications places, you know, the usual stuff, TJ Maxx, Taco Bell. It's that time of the year, you know, gotta get bills paid. <sighs> oh, that's the wrong way. I don't want to roll that way. This is why I'm going to get distracted now. Stop talking to me, okay? Here we go. Ugh, were you guys ever that kid in school? I always was. Like, I get carried away in a conversation. I look up and I do any of my work. Like, yeah, girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. You carry on for like a good solid 25 minutes and class is half over and you don't know what the teacher was talking about. <sighs> I'm already exhausted. Let's do the back. Okay, I'm back. I just finished rolling it. This is what I did. Look at that, that's the roller set. All right, now I have to steam her. So let me just start with the steaming process. All right, while that warms up, I'm gonna get my bag ready and just put that right over the head. Ooh, like that, not sponsored. <laughs> it's just the biggest bag I have. In the meantime, how have you guys been enjoying All Stars, huh? Let me know down below. Oh, crazy that elimination last week, huh? Let me just say this, if it comes down to me and a friend, like say it's me and Nina, I'm sending her ass home. Even if it's not her lipstick, I'll just put it on there. I'll bring like my own lipstick and just hold it up like Nina. No speech is nothing. Okay, it's all heated up. Let's start steaming her. Stick it on under and let her rip. And make sure and close it around your hands so you don't burn your friggin' fingers. And this is a brand new wig, so I'm gonna make sure it gets really, really hot to the touch and hold it on there a little longer than I normally would because I really want that hairstyle to get permanently in there. Or at least as permanent as I can get it. Can you believe how many people are on YouTube now styling hair? It's insane. There's so many girls doing hair tutorials now. I love it personally. When I first started doing drag, there was nothing. There was literally like two people doing drag tutorials and like it was all like, you know, rolled up hair buns and stuff like that in the falls. Late 90s, early 2000s drag. That was where that was really big, you know? Having the big, you know, rolled up pony bun stuff where you look like a unicorn. You can use your natural hair. You got the bun right here. Fall, fall, fall. Six different buns. 
it can be really pretty on some girls. I just, I don't have the hairline for it. And I don't like wearing black hairspray. That and if you're a girl like me and you like to be blonde, you're kind of doomed to a lace front. That's all you really got as an option, unless you want to bleach every hair out of your scalp out, which I've done before. Okay, it's getting a little hot in the front. Let's rotate it. I remember when I first did Drag Race, I bleached my hair. Yes, I was going through a phase. I want to be blonde because I've been brunette my whole life. It's like, I'm gonna be a blonde now. It's gonna be a whole new me. And by the time like I got the call for Drag Race and everything, my hair had grown out. So I had like a good inch of outgrowth going on and I didn't get time to do a haircut, so I went on Drag Race with tips. Oh boy. I should have asked for like a box dye in the hotel room. Cause like when we're doing the confessionals, my hair tips would key out. So it would start to look purple and it's causing a real big problem behind the scenes. <laughs> oh well. And make sure you get the very, very bottom rollers. I always forget that part. And sometimes they don't roll, they don't like curl all the way because not enough heat got to them. Whew, that's a noisy steamer. Ow. Check. Oh yeah, bottom rollers are got hit. So yeah, I'm gonna let that sit in the heat for a good couple, maybe two minutes, maybe a little less. You know, let that you know heat collect in there, really sink in. And then I'm going to put this in the wig oven. I'll show you what I've been using as a wig oven lately. You'll get a kick out of this. It is the RuPaul box for the Mac Cat. <laughs> I've been putting my wigs inside here and steaming it because my last one. Well, I left it outside and there were bugs in it, so I'm not gonna use it anymore. So now I'm just using this guy and it actually works perfectly to put a wig inside of. So if you bought the RuPaul Mac hat, or if you're like me and participated on the show, you can just use that box. And you may be wondering, James, haven't you had that Brad cat for a long time? Why do you still have the box? Let me tell you this, I didn't get mine right away. I had to wait a full year and really, really hassle to get it. Like I bugged them almost every week about it. Like, where's my Mac hat? I didn't win the show. I wanted something to remember it by. It's almost like not so hot where I can touch it now. Once it gets a little cooler, then you can take it off. <sighs> <sighs> Smells like synthetic fibers. I'm gonna put her in the wig oven and I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't have a, like a tall base to put it on and show you. And you guys know what I'm doing. It's basically put the wig in a box, you stick the blow dryer in and let it dry. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, the wig is all dry. Let's take the hair down and we can start styling it. Start from the back. That's usually a good idea. She curled nicely. Look at that. Yeah, a little fun springy curl. Again, like I said, with certain wigs, you just gotta keep an eye out for them. Like, see what other kind of wigs they sell because sometimes the vendor just might be trying to get rid of a certain hair color, which I think might have been the case with this one because the hair is actually taken to curling really nicely. But I feel like if you are buying something, you should always, you know, take a look at, you know, the comments and what else they sell. See if it's a reliable source. You know, that's just smart buying. Don't just buy anything just because you can afford it. And with wigs like this, they are the best ones to buy if you want to try out teasing or styling hair because you're not spending a whole lot on it and you can, you know, essentially ruin a wig by teasing it. Like that's what happens. So if you do it on something that doesn't cost a whole lot, well, it doesn't, you know, hurt your heart as much as it does mine. At least that's just the way I work. If you want to buy really expensive human hair wigs and practice on those, by all means, you know, go ahead and do that, but I don't have that kind of budget. I work off of what, I think it was Bobby Pins that said this, you know, synthetic hair budget, human hair dreams. <laughs> She is curled, look at her. She's getting like very Carla from Def Jam Vendetta. Remember that game? Now I will say this, she does not have that much hair. Like check it out. You can totally see some tracks in the back, but we're gonna tease her out. So we're gonna disguise that and you know, make the most out of it. Make the best out of a bad situation. So let's grab some hair and just start going to town on it. Okay, I'm getting exhausted. Can I just pause and say, I'm in love with this hair I have on right now. <laughs> it's so like a hairstyle I used to rock like back in like circa 2012. I used to love like a bubble flip, like very 60s, late 50s kind of hairstyles. And fun fact, if you guys remember that jet set runway that Trixie Mattel did, that's actually my hair. I styled that wig for her. I styled a couple wigs for her and we haven't really worked together on hair anymore because well, she can't afford me anymore. <laughs> I'm way out of her budget now. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> but yeah, that wig was mine. And I didn't usually take credit for it because it's not my best work looking back at it. So, you know, you never want to show off your really, really early work. But 
I looked at it as doing a favor for a friend because I wanted her to look her very best. So, you know, you give them the very best you can do at that level. And, you know, she was safe on that runway, so I feel like, you know, it worked out in her favor. Job well done on me. Pat on the back. Thank God the wig she got sent home in wasn't mine, though. But the tang with you on was <laughs> Oh, you're right. <laughs> Wait, 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 correction. The wig she wore in the challenge for Tan With You was mine, though. <laughs> Guess I canceled out that point. Whew, getting to the final stretch. My arms are getting tired. My armpits are getting sweaty. Ugh. All right. Just whatever you do, don't, you know, quit and say, I'm just going to leave the back the way it is, because I always used to do that. And it's a little lazy, and you'll get a better style if you just do the whole wig. Suck it up, take a break, you know, drink some wine or something, whatever you need to keep yourself going, keep yourself motivated, I don't know. And just get the back section teased. Also, little tip for the very back pieces that are hard to reach, sometimes what I do is I grab it and hold it real straight, I brush through it, and you'll create like a little nest of hair right there. Restart from where that nest is and just push it down. And then I'll tease it faster. Now I'm going to start brushing it and trying to style it. So what I'm going to do is take some extra pins and pin her down to make sure she's really, really secure. Because the way I style, the hair goes all over the place. So I'm just going to stick on in some extra bit of protection here. Don't put it on the lace. Whatever you do, just put it farther back into the hair. You never want to pierce the lace because if you pierce it, you get a hole in it. Once you cut it, that's going to fray the fabric. It's fabric, you know, and it's going to rip. And then you're going to have a bad time. So just don't do it. Don't be sticking no thick old pins through the lace thinking it's going to be all right because it's not. Let us begin our brush out. Just looking at the hairstyle and trying to figure out where she wants to go. You can kind of already see from the curl pattern, it's kind of already telling you the, I want to go like here and here. So you just find, you know, a, you know, a common ground, a narrative, you could say. Okay, looking at her, I kind of see where she's trying to go. Okay, looking at her, I think I want to give her a haircut. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to make her a short style. It's just what I'm feeling at the moment, okay? I like that story a little better now. Yeah, see, she's saying like, I want to be like, you know, business fish. And really the rest of this is just a flick of your own wrist. And basically deciding where you want the hair to go. Okay, let's get some hairspray and start really going in on the styling. All right, and just go through and do your little finishing touches. Spray her up one final time. You know, grab some hairspray and give her a good coat. And you may have seen me do this in a video already where I show you how to get rid of some flyaways. So that'll probably come up before this one. If not, watch that one for a more in-depth idea of what I'm doing here. There she is. She is ready to be tried on. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the final result. I actually loved it. The hair itself teased out and curled really, really nicely. It gave you sort of that nice little happy birthday, Mr. President, Marilyn Monroe kind of hairstyle or Doris Day, one of those late 50s, early 60s kind of hairstyles. It's fun. Now, final thoughts on the wig. The hair quality was actually very, very good. I don't have any complaints about that. The lace on this, however, is a bit of a harder lace, not like the super hard wig shop laces, but definitely a cheaper quality. And it does tend to bunch up right here, so I guess that's why they gave you the baby hairs. So, lesson learned, use the baby hairs they provided and make those incorporate into the look somehow to help disguise some of that lace. And as you can tell, it's a bit of a deeper tone than what I am naturally, so unless I plan to contour really hard, it can't really blend down as well with my skin. So if you are more of a deeper skin tone, it may be a better option for you. But as for me, I just have to contour really, really hard. It's not 
a horrible thing. It's just, you know, an extra step I have to add if I plan to wear this hair. There wasn't much in the means of hair in the wig, but all that really means is you can work around that if you tease it more and add more bunching. Because you can tell, like, it doesn't even look like there's no bald spots or anything. I managed to disguise it very, very well. So as long as you take your time and really, really work hard at teasing it and disguising certain areas, you can work through any problem. And I am so bummed. They used to have this wig for sale in blonde and I totally missed it. People all bought it out. So I was stuck with this red option, which I'm not mad at. It makes me want Wendy's really bad. I don't really know why. <laughs> But I like it. I think it turned out pretty well. And also, I am selling styled wigs now. So if you'd like to own a wig styled personally by me, then just go to my website where you can get a beautiful wig like this in a hairstyle similar to this one. And it was not $15. I know some of you are going to be shady there in the comment section. The wigs I use are not $15. This one I just kind of lucked out on. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure and hit that like button so it sounds off and lets YouTube know you're watching my videos because they're being extra shady now with people of the LGBT community. Conspiracy theories here on James Mansfield's channel. And until next time, bye. Click here and see how to get rid of flyaways on a wig or watch my WWE page makeup look using Soraya Jade Cosmetics. Come on, click it. If you don't click it, I'll tell your boss all about the Reddit forums you browse on company time. So click it.